Guys, changing these key settings will help increase your frame rate almost by 80 frames without downloading any third-party software. If you do enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel today. If you guys wanna keep up with all the new updates, all the weapon builds, all the metas, and also Warzone coaching. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and cover display just real quickly because at the end of the day, quality is really where all of your frame rate um, benefits are gonna be coming from. Display mode, you wanna go full screen exclusive. What this does instead of, or compared to going borderless or extended, what this does is allow your GPU to focus exclusively on your full screen capture and not worrying about what's running in the background on your desktop. If you have folders open, if you have other programs running, it fully focuses on the game itself, increasing your frame rate. Not drastically, but again, a little bit of frames here and there will definitely add up. Um, your refresh rate and your display monitor just match it to what you have with dynamic resolution there really is no difference i just don't see it frame rate wise graphic wise there's just nothing there to it so i like to leave it off because why would i add an extra setting for my gpu to run if there's physically no benefit from it as you guys can see right here i'm in the game i'm having about 173 174 frames game looks pretty good i will go ahead and show you the difference if you turn this on it literally does absolutely nothing there we are again 173 174 and the game looks exactly the same a lot of people say it makes it look a little eh but again you let me know i'll put up a screenshot side by side and let me know right now if you notice the difference between the two i definitely just don't and again i'm gonna leave that all just because i don't want anything running on my gpu making it work a little harder if it doesn't benefit me or change the game in any way shape or form aspect ratio but just leave it on automatic it will work itself out don't worry about that v-sync garbage uh gameplay and menus it prevents screen tearing so like for me when i'm recording spectating videos and coaching videos and breaking down your gameplay i will turn on v-sync just so that i don't get the screen tears for when i pause frame the video and you see those lines running through the video that's a huge difference as far as what i do in actual gameplay but gameplay wise you don't want this it will take your frames and you're not going to notice the, the screen tearing mid game anyway now custom frame rate limit i'm gonna be honest you can kind of do whatever here when it comes to gameplay just put it a little bit of what above what you actually run that way i can actually get the most of my frames a lot of people will be like well i'm gonna put it to 180 and then even if you could get 220 you're getting 180 you're not getting the best out of your system um, when it comes to menu frame rate this could be 60 or 120 doesn't really matter don't notice a huge difference this isn't going to change much but if you want that smoothness of the mouse and things to load up pretty smoothly um 120 or is what i recommend out of focus just leave that at 30 you, you don't need that you don't need frames for things that aren't in focus for display gamma just leave that alone brightness now there's a difference in brightness i again i have it set to 50 but what i actually run it out is about 60. now if you're having a problem noticing enemies in dark areas you can bump this up to where you can kind of see basically black within the black um but again notice that with that it will kind of make your game look like complete crap all right quality presets don't worry about changing these things you can kind of if you want to make your own settings you can kind of set a baseline and then go through the settings and tweak accordingly because i have a 3080 i'm gonna start off at ultra that's what i do and we're gonna skip render resolution it should be a hundred matching your settings all right let's go ahead and talk about sharpening a sharpening is huge there's a drastic difference between the look of the game and frame rate use what you want to use don't listen to anybody else but i will show you the difference all right you have five options with off fidelity amd nvidia two different ones you have dlss and image scaling and you have the intel xess instead of explaining you what these are let me just show you the difference so i've been using fidelity and i'm caught between two different ones um and again it's graphics versus frames what do you want so fidelity is what you guys have been watching me on it's what you've been seeing me on just notice, you know, the game looks good. The font right here looks great. You can tell that you can tell the difference in the edges when you're moving. There's really no blur on the edges. None of that hazy effect. You can see how defined the, the sharpening is in this picture. Now let's change it up a bit. Again, look at the frames too. I'm getting about 167, 166 right now. Now we're gonna talk about DLSS. Now this right here is a huge difference. Um, this is a game changer and this is kind of what I've been debating on. So the game doesn't look as crazy good but it's damn near close do you guys really notice a difference and again i'm gonna hold them up side by side and let you and, and let you guys make it out for yourself do you notice a big difference notice right here watch the bars as you're moving side to side there's a little bit of motion with it i mean you can kind of see the pixels kind of change as you move which creates a little bit of a blur effect um or whatever you want to call it you see over here greatly as well as you're moving side to side there's a little bit of a, a change in the bars this could be drastic especially in games like warzone but look at the frame difference. 
240 frames we're talking about literally 80 frames 70 80 frames more than what i was getting just for a little bit of blurriness as we're running around here you really don't notice too much different right it's just the small details that you're gonna notice a little bit of movement with and again mostly um windows and stuff like that you know it's more visually appealing to be on fidelity but frame rate wise man dlss is a game changer amd fsr is what i really want to show because it helps your frames out but look how bad the game looks now you can notice it's a lot blurrier you're getting a lot of effect a lot of motion not only in the bars but the actual window itself um within everything as i move slowly you see the lines have a little bit of pixelation to it um basically whatever i look at has a little bit of pixelation to it this is in my opinion the biggest game changer setting of all of the settings to be honest um so i'm not going to go through all of them because this is time consuming i know you guys want to move on but again, dude, DLSS or Fidelity. Fidelity looks better. DLSS is gonna get you a shit ton of more frames. But we're gonna go ahead with Fidelity and for anti-aliasing, for some reason, this is my 30th take saying this, Fil Filmic SMAA T2X. I don't know why, but I get dyslexia when I say that. Um, and I'm again, I'm gonna show you the difference. Of course, you see the game as it is now. Let's go ahead and change it up. And again, look at the difference with the motion. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but as you're backed up and you're moving side to side, again, the window has this little pixelation effect. My frames went up a little bit, but not too drastic. And again, you really don't want that. So we're gonna switch that back. And again, notice now when I'm moving, there's literally no motion within the window. It's pretty solid. And that's exactly what you want. All right, so now with just a few settings we've changed, we're pulling about 185 frames. So we're going up a little bit. Um, the difference between alias, anti-aliasing normal and anti-aliasing Ultra quality is, again, the frame droppage. We're pulling about 180 now. Let's go ahead and apply. And we're pulling 177, 176. Not super crucial, but the game doesn't really look that much better. That's slightly better, definitely looks better. But why would I make my graphics card run harder in one aspect, just like in the settings before, if it's only gonna benefit me uh, graphic wise and take away a few frames? Again, this is up to you guys. If you'd like the, if you rather sacrifice three or four frames for better quality, by all means, go ahead and do it. But again, a little bit of frames here and there adds up. Four here, four there, four there. Next thing you know, you're talking about 20, 30 frames. Memory scale, I like to set it at 85. I'm not gonna get into details there, just set it at 85. Um, texture resolution, now again, goes the quality and the picture does it just as here. But again, the game looks really good. We showed it side by side with everything at Super Ultra and everything with what I'm running now. Not a huge difference. So let's go ahead and set it to high. And I'm gonna show you guys the difference in the frame rate and in the settings. So we put it at high and now my frames are kind of, they're a little stable-ish. I'm pulling about 180. It was jumping to the 170s and it does look slightly better not much better not much difference and again going back why would we run our graphics card hard in one area just for a little bit extra some people recommend putting very low or low i do not you got to be able to see in this game in order to play it and again instead of being at ultra we're getting 179 180 frames we're back to normal where we're getting 185 186 another five frames again sacrifice the last four sacrifice these five now you're almost at 10 frames again this adds up Texture filter, you can put it at high, normal, low. Again, we're running a, we're running a total of 185 frames right now. Let's go ahead and set this thing to low, and let's see the difference. Frame change wise, instead of 184 to 185, now 185 to 186. Not really that much drastic. Leave that on high. All right, for the next one, it's gonna be nearby level of detail. This is really, this is probably the smallest minute difference. Um, you can put it at high, you can put it on low, but again, why sacrifice frames? Um, low and high is not really a huge difference. Again, with low, I'm running 187, 186. Um, with it on high, I was running 184, 185. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on low. Distant level of detail, I have it set on high right now. Let's go ahead and set it to low and see the drastic difference, or if there is one, in frames. Not really that much, a few frames here and there, but we are getting more. And again, the game quality hasn't changed much. Um, there's really no movement in the windows when I'm moving side to side. The, the sharpening's still there. Everything's pretty copacetic. We're getting an extra frame or two out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on low. Clutter space, long versus short. Let's go ahead and apply this. Again, not much difference. We're getting 188, 189 extra frame out of it. Game doesn't look different. Let's go ahead and set it to low. Again, the object of the game is to try to get your graphics to look exactly the same or damn near close to it and gain more frames. So every little frame matters. 
Particle quality, I like to leave it on high just for the effect. And as you can see in here, it's really not that much difference. And frame rate wise, it literally doesn't change. So just leave it on high. I'm not gonna show you that. Just trust me, take my word for it. When it comes to quality level, put it to low. I think this has the biggest effect frame rate wise. This has the biggest effect um, graphic wise. It doesn't change much graphically when the fire happens, flames, thermites, all that stuff. It still looks the exact same. And notice my frames are now 191. So we're going up towards the 200 now. We started at 160s. We're already up 30 just by changing a few settings. Bullet impact sprays, I like to leave that on. You can turn it off. It does help your frame slightly, but I like to see where the bullets are coming from. Shader quality, I like to put that on low. It has a medium effect on your GPU, so it does run it um, pretty well. And as you guys can see, the shadows don't really look that much different. They're pretty uh, on point. There's really no reason to have it on high. Not much of a frame rate difference. As you can see, it doesn't change anything, but why again work your GPU harder if you don't have to? For tessellation, go ahead and turn it off. I can't really show you, but as you're running through the map and things are rendering with it off, it doesn't have to render as much. And again, you're gonna have a better baseline of consistent frames. It's gonna help you through your gameplay. For terrain memory, just leave it at max. I think it has the best quality. If you lower it, your distance textures is gonna start looking, I wouldn't say Play-Doh-ish, but it starts to get that weird effect. Um, just leave that at max. On-demand texture streaming, turn it off. You don't wanna be downloading textures as you're playing the game because it will tank your frames. So again, we're sitting at 190 frames. Let's let's go ahead and talk about the next setting because it's probably the another crucial one to help your frames. It's gonna be volumetric quality, which is right here. Set on high right now, 190, 189 frames is what we're getting. Let's go ahead and set it to low. And again, look at the quality and look at the frame rate. We're getting about 206 frames now, massive step getting about 14 to 17 more frames than we were before. And again, does the game look any worse to you? You'll see the qualities and stuff still aren't the best, like super, super detailed in this dump truck from far away, kind of gets played out. But at the end of the day, guys, the point of the game is gameplay as well as looks. You wanna find that perfect balance. I'd rather sacrifice a little bit of texture on the dump truck to get uh, the most out of my frames. Let's turn it off. It really just puts too much quality in things you really don't care about um, having quality with. And again, it's gonna help your frames out. Not too drastically, but definitely a little bit. Instead of 206, we're getting 208, um, 209 now. So again, a little bit of frames here and there definitely add up. I know I've said that a thousand times. I'm sorry, I just gotta get my point across because I know someone out there is gonna be like, Savage, what's a few frames, man? I'm gonna speed through these next ones and show you the difference between it, but um, sh shadow map resolution set to low. Even the picture, you really can't tell the difference. Go ahead and put it on low. No no reason to run it high. Um, screen space shadows low, spot quality shadow low, spot cache you wanna go to low, particle lighting low, and ambient occlusion off. And again, over here, you can kinda see the difference between it. The black stand out a little bit more, not really too drastic. If you're trying to get some cinematic value, of course, leave it on. But for gameplay wise, turn that crap off and let's go ahead and apply and see what happens. Now, all of a sudden, hey, look at this. We go from what? We go from 206 frames to 236 frames. 30 frame difference between five settings. And again, a little bit out of, I had to say it one more time. I'm sorry, guys. All right, again, speeding through it. I'm gonna show you guys the difference afterwards. Screen space reflections, screen space, screen space reflections, turn it off, static reflection quality, put it on low. Weather grid volume, stop it, turn it off. NVIDIA reflex low latency, leave it on. It helps with, well, optimizing, optimizing your latency. Depth of field, turn it off, mo world motion blur. Get it out of the game. Stop putting it in games. Motion blur, why? I, I just don't understand why. Weapon motion blur, turn it off. Boom, filmatic film grain, turn it to zero. You don't want this grainy feeling, you want this texture, get it out of here. Apply the settings, look at the difference, look at the frames, extra 10 frames out of that one, or damn, yeah, extra 10 frames. A um, little bit of instability, it, it jumps 230 to 240. If you don't like the unstable frame jumps, um, you could definitely tweak the settings and put it back. But again, game looks great, frames look great. I think we're sitting pretty. All right, when it comes to FOV and all this, again, it's all personal preference. 120 FOV is what I run. Um, a lot of people have problems seeing enemies far away with 120 because you're more zoomed out. People are smaller, so you want to zoom in a little bit. The recommended spot that I'd say is 95 to 110. That's probably your best. A lot of pros play within that area. A lot of pros play on 120 as well. So just do what you like best what works for you try them all out see what you like um when it comes to field of view ads field of view affected do not go independent affected is the way ads field of view just leave it as affected um weapon field of view default is what i like wide will make your weapon look smaller um narrow will make your weapon look bigger i just like default again personal preference vehicle field of view default personal preference 
Um, third person field of view, I have it at 90. This is really the main things with this whole page. Um, first person camera movement, third person camera movement. You want as least camera movement as possible. Go ahead and set it to least. That's just basic cut and clear. And again, guys, after we set all these uh, settings, after we changed everything, let's go ahead and put this back on fidelity. Don't know why that changed. Um, we're getting a 240 um, two frames. So a huge drastic difference between 160 when it was set on ultra to now. And again, we're going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this. and I'm going to put them side by side and show you guys the difference between what it looked like in ultra and what it looks like now. And let me know, do you think it was worth sacrificing a lot of these settings for an extra 83 frames or not? Guys, until next time, man, y'all have a good one and have fun in modern warfare.